love apples. Let's make a warming sweet dessert today using apples. Stay tuned. Hi, my name is Katrina. Welcome to the Organics channel, where we get together every week in the kitchen. We create delicious, healthy recipes to support you and your loved ones. Today, we're going to be making healthy cinnamon baked apples. Let's begin by slicing your apple lengthwise. Scoop out the seeds in the center. You may also want to cut off the stem. Place your apples slice side down on a parchment lined baking sheet. Using a knife, make slits all across the apple, being sure not to cut all the way through. You want the apple half to stay together in one piece, but if you cut all the way through, it's really not that big of a deal. Brush with either melted butter, ghee, or coconut oil, and sprinkle with just a little bit of coconut sugar. You're certainly welcome to use your preferred granulated sweetener here. Bake in a 350 degree preheated oven for about 20 minutes or until the apples begin to soften. While your apples are baking, in a small mixing bowl, take what's left over from your melted one and a half tablespoons of butter, ghee, or coconut oil, and add in two tablespoons of gluten-free oats. To it, we're going to add in what's left over from your one and a half tablespoons of coconut sugar. Next, we have one teaspoon of Ceylon cinnamon. And this last ingredient is optional. I'm going to add in one scoop of our clean source collagens powder. Stir all of your ingredients together really well. And then after about your 20 minutes, take your baked apples out of the oven and let them cool to the touch. Now we're ready to add in that cinnamon mixture in between and on top of the apples. Place your apples back into the oven and bake for about 10 more minutes and then we are ready to serve. These baked apples are ready for a taste. I drizzled mine with a little bit of coconut cream and I added some walnuts and cinnamon. Some other ideas might be some yogurt, maybe granola, raisins, cranberries, seeds. You can get really creative with your toppings here. Or just eat it all by itself. Let's give it a taste. Mmm, that is perfectly sweetened. I love it. I love the cinnamon and the apple and the walnuts. So good. And it's so good for you too. After you eat this, you're not going to feel like you have to go lay down on the couch and not move for a couple of hours. I hope you give this one a try and get really creative with it. Thanks so much for joining me today. Hey, I hope you and your loved ones are well and happy. Take great care of yourself this week, and I look forward to seeing you next week in the kitchen. Bye-bye.